Hello artists, welcome to the art room. Today we are going to create something incredible inspired by Yayoi Kusama's polka dot pumpkins. We're going to start by simply drawing a pumpkin, but wait, is that the best pumpkin we can draw? No, we're better than that. You see, being an artist is all about thinking outside the box. And today we're going to forget what our brains tell us a pumpkin looks like. And we're actually gonna look at a pumpkin in real life to do our drawing. Real life is where the beauty lies. It's where we discover the little details, the textures and the colors that make our art come to life. After you draw light until you get it right in pencil, outline in Sharpie. Now, just like the incredible artist Yuyoi Kusama, let's add some dots to our pumpkins. Remember, she added the dots in lines. It will take time and we have to be patient, but with each dot, you can watch your masterpiece grow. Look how many sizes of dots I did. Remember, there are no mistakes and everybody's pumpkin will look different. Our next step is to paint our pumpkin with our glow paint. You need water, a brush, a towel, and some paint to paint your pumpkin. When we look at our pumpkin in real life, we see it's not just one flat color. It has shadows and highlights. By using different colors, we can bring those details to life in our art. Don't be afraid to experiment with colors. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Remember what Bob Ross says, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. In real life, every pumpkin is just a little bit different from the next. How is your pumpkin that you are creating today unique and different from the pumpkins that you see around you? How is it different from mine that you're watching me create right now in this video? How have we used repetition in this artwork so far? Repetition means using the same shape, color, or pattern more than once in your artwork. This makes your art look interesting and can even create a rhythm like a beat in music. After you paint your pumpkin, take it to the drying rack to dry and let's do our background. You'll need a new piece of paper from me. Put your name, your teacher name and second grade on the back. Then you'll get an oil pastel and I want you to do a design all over your page. When we look at the background that Yayoi Kusama used, she used sharper shapes instead of dots, but it still took a lot of patience to get this design on my page, just like her dotted pumpkins took patience. Remember that oil and water do not mix. So we are going to paint our glowing watercolors over our oil pastel to fill in our entire background from edge to edge. If you run out of watercolor, just go ahead and reload it. And this is a time where you can really experiment with our glowing watercolors. There is no right and no wrong for your background. I do want you to take your time and make sure you fill in every single last bit of your paper. When you're done, don't forget to clean up all of your supplies. Take your painting to the drying rack. Put your oil pastels back where they're supposed to go. Let your brushes soak. Empty your water cup and stack. Stack up your glowy paints again and spray your table. Wipe it down good with your towel and put the towel in the dirty bin. Good luck, I know you can do it.